Yo, yo, yo. What's good, world? Y'all already know who it is, man. It's your boy, man. I'm back with another one, man. This one right here is crazy. Like, right now, we got a Category 5 that's in Miami. And it's destroying everything. They were showing everybody on the bridge. And what's beside the bridge on both ends? Water. If those people could not make it out in time, man, do y'all know how hectic it's going to get once it reached them? That's the crazy thing. Like, it's too much going on with it. Like, because everybody's trying to evacuate. They're telling everybody to evacuate. You know, it's a Category 5. And this is after the first one, last week. So this one is even crazier. Like, it's not even right, man. Then this lieutenant, he, uh, you know, he served his time and stuff, man. And he's in a, they said, 20-foot boat. And he's not trying to leave. He's He's been blowing up, going viral, as a matter of fact, honestly, since all of this been going on. But that dude said he ain't trying to leave, but he got put into, you know, a, a place to stay or whatnot for the conditions that's going on. But he wasn't trying to leave. He, he's been going viral, you know. But it's, it's just to tell you, it's, it's been crazy down there. Crazy. I mean, that water, 10, 12, 14 foot, ain't no telling how tall that water is at certain places at its highest peak. You got alligators everywhere. I know you do. I know they got alligators everywhere. Alligators, don't get me wrong. You got iguanas. I like iguanas. I like alligators too. But you can't. Can't mess with no damn alligator, man. So, I got something new to tell you. This is what this whole thing's about. Okay, so we got the first one that came last week. We got this one that hit yesterday. And it's destroying everything. So, like I said on the other video... Last week when that one was hitting, they was telling us that we had three more coming. They said we had three more coming. So, that means we had one last week. We got this one that just hit yesterday so that's two they said it's one more really it's two more in the water the last two so it's gonna be four total but the next one is coming and i think it's gonna be bigger than this one so y'all gotta evacuate man and get out of dodge man and like for real man if y'all whatever call a family get online like Seriously, man. You know, it's crazy. We got this war in Ukraine that's spending more money than what we are doing for the people here, which is crazy. You know, um, best thing you can do is just get out of the way and, and just try to, you got to relocate. This one right here is crazy. So if y'all been really affected and it's been really bad, which I've been seeing everything, a lot of the things, and it's been terrible. Just the first one was terrible. So we got the second one. It's coming right. Well, really, it's the third one. That's on its way. Then we're going to have the fourth one. Man, a lot of people have to evacuate a lot of states. It's going to be crazy. Um, 
I think I might do this one on the live. Y'all let me know in the comments. Uh, we should make a live on this. There's a lot of other things that we got to make a live on, too. Y'all give me y'all opinions as well. I got a lot of content that we should be talking about on the live and that we will. We will. We'll talk about a lot of different things, but I would like y'all opinions as well because it's not about me. It's not just me. It's about y'all, too, as well. And I really appreciate y'all. And, uh, Man, we got to keep our prayers up for these people that's in Florida right now, man, and, and everywhere else that's going through it. I mean, they said, what, Tennessee, South Carolina, Georgia, North Carolina. I mean, in these Category 5, and if this one's worse, I mean, who knows what the fourth one's going to be like. Come on, man, we got to figure this out. But drop the comments, man. Let's talk about this, man, because they saying this one's coming. And I'm going to give y'all some insight and I want y'all opinion on it. And hit the subscribe button, man, when y'all let it, man. I appreciate all y'all, man. All the love, support, and everything, man, that y'all been doing for me, man. I really do. It's amazing, man. Um, I'm going to keep running it up. Um, and I got a lot of other projects. Like, yeah, we're doing, you know, the automotives, everything that, you know, uh, got a lot of music cooking up, man. We got... We got a lot of stuff, but the music, I'm kind of whatever. But the automotive stuff, we're going we're gonna to turn that up. So, y'all stay tuned, man. Appreciate y'all love and support, man. Stay safe, stay warm, man. I'm out. Another hurricane is on track to hitting Florida's Big Bend again, and it's going to be catastrophic. This hurricane, who we have yet to know the name of, will form around where Milton formed and will push likely to a Category 5 all the way to Florida's Big Bend where it'll make landfall as a Category 3 to 4 right in the middle of Tallahassee. Then it'll go up Georgia where it'll stall and stay in the Carolinas for around 36 plus hours. This will bring major damage to Florida, Georgia and the Carolinas, so make sure to prepare now because remember, hurricanes are unpredictable and could strengthen or change paths rapidly. So if you are in Florida, Georgia, North Carolina, South Carolina, and any other states bordering those states, keep your eyes open, especially after Hurricane Helene and Milton. A lot of people are still recovering from these storms and we want to minimize the damage from this one. So make sure you are staying safe and if it gets bad, don't forget to evacuate. Stay safe everyone and don't forget to... Look at that eye, that eye wall getting smaller and smaller, which is indicative of strengthening. We have been seeing this hurricane remain at Category 5 strength in this most recent update. Also seeing a pickup in speed now moving northeast at 14 miles per hour. It was moving northeast at 12 miles per hour at that 2 a.m. update. Walt Disney World is closing for Hurricane Milton. It is estimated to cost Disney World over $200 million. It is also estimated that Hurricane Milton will cause a decline in park attendance by 6%. This is the 11th time Walt Disney World will close in its 53-year history. Hurricane Milton has turned into a Category 5 hurricane with wind speeds up to 200 miles per hour. Well, there's this thing that I'm seeing as of right now, which could potentially be coming to the Caribbean. And it is right now a Invest 94L. And this is a different chart. And so was this one. But guess what? If this thing right here comes down just like this, the area that it is in is one of the warmest temperatures. The bottom of the ocean to the top of the ocean, it's just pure warm right here. Above 85 Fahrenheit. So that basically means this right here is a spot for a storm to grow. 
And from the looks of it, that's the other one. This is a new one. This could be moving up here. If that moves down here, we can possibly expect two storms to be forming in the next eight days. There's a chance this could be going over here, but there's another chance it could be going over here, intensify a little bit more, and could it make its way all the way to Texas? It could either be a tropical storm or it could even be a hurricane. And this one right here, if it goes down here through this path right down, it's gonna curve up and head straight towards no other than Florida. That right there, my friends, is what I'm seeing. Same exact path as what Hurricane Helene took over. And this is the other one. It could be going right over here. There's another one that is showing a direct impact near Tallahassee area around the same exact area as Hurricane Helene. So hit the follow button to stay updated. This is still eight days away, so many things can change. I am not a meteorologist, but I was right about the last two storms that hit Florida. So let's see where this one is going to go. Another hurricane is on track to hitting Florida's Big Bend again, and it's going to be catastrophic. This hurricane, who we have yet to know the name of, will form around where Milton formed and will push likely to a Category 5 all the way to Florida's Big Bend where it'll make landfall as a Category 3 to 4 right in the middle of Tallahassee. Then it'll go up Georgia where it'll stall and stay in the Carolinas for around 36 plus hours. This will bring major damage to Florida, Georgia and the Carolinas, so make sure to prepare now because remember, hurricanes are unpredictable and could strengthen or change paths rapidly. So if you are in Florida, Georgia, North Carolina, South Carolina, and any other states bordering those states, keep your eyes open, especially after Hurricane Helene and Milton. A lot of people are still recovering from these storms, and we want to minimize the damage from this one. So make sure you are staying safe, and if it gets bad, don't forget to evacuate. Stay safe, everyone, and don't forget to follow to stay up to date with news.